Anomaly 1A, the elevator does not start in up direction or does not reach the nominal speed. The first elements to check are the two electrovalves. In up direction, the two active electrovalves are the star delta, if present, and the EA electrovalve. With an iron tool, check if the coils are magnetized. During the up direction run, please check three discharge hoses. The hose of uh, screw number five. The discharge hose of the star delta electrovalve. And the discharge hose of the starting group below the distributor block. If during an up travel there is oil coming out from one of these three hoses, it means that the distributor block has a problem, and we have three repair steps to be followed, R1A, R2A, and R3A. Repair sequence R1A, discharge hose of screw number 5. Close the ball valve. Make the motor start and check the pressure on the pressure gauge. During the motor functioning, the pressure indicated must be 1.4 times the maximum static pressure. If the indicated pressure is lower than the required one, we have to regulate screw number 5. In order to regulate screw number 5, we have to disassemble it. Unscrew completely the regulation. Take it out and screw it back by three complete revolutions. Always with a closed ball valve, discharge the pressure from the distributor block, restart the motor, and while the motor is running, screw regulation number five until you reach the desired pressure. Motor must be running at this point. In this case, the safety pressure is a 60 bar. When we reach a 60 bar, we stop the motor, lock the nut, open the ball valve, perform a normal travel in up direction and check that there is no oil coming out from the discharge hose of screw number 5. From that discharge point, there is no oil leaking out. If oil is still coming out from the discharge hose of screw number 5, we have to verify the sphere inside the block. Close the ball valve, switch off the elevator, Push the manual lowering button to discharge the pressure inside the distributor block. Open the four screws of the cover. Remove the cover and pay attention that no gaskets uh, are falling out. With the screwdriver, remove the spring of screw number 5. With the magnet, remove the sphere inside. Check that there is no dirt on the sphere and inside the seat with a small magnet or with a magnetized screwdriver. Remove any dirt you may find and clean the sphere. Put the sphere back, put the spring back and pay attention that the two sides are not equal. The end with the bigger diameter must touch the sphere. Check that all gaskets are in the proper seat. 
and fix the cover plate back. Open the ball valve, switch on the elevator, perform a traveling up direction and check that there is no oil coming out from the discharge hose of screw number 5. No oil is coming out, this is ok. Repair steps are to A. Oil leakage from the discharge hose of the starting group. If during an up travel oil is coming out from this hose, then there is a problem in the spool of the starting group. Close the ball valve, remove pressure by pushing the manual descent button, switch off the elevator, open the cover and pay attention that the O-rings will not fall out. With one of the four screws, remove the spool. Check that there is no dirt on the seat and check that the seat is not damaged. Check that the spring inside is not broken. With a magnetized screwdriver, check that there is no dirt inside. If everything is fine, place back the screw, put back the spool and verify that it moves freely till the end of its travel. Pay attention to the gaskets and position the plate back. Open the ball valve, switch on the elevator and make a travel in up direction. Verify that there is no oil coming out from this hose. Repair sequence R3A. Oil leakage from the discharge hose of the Star Delta starting valve. If during an up travel oil is continuously coming out from the hose, then the problem is the electrovalve. First of all, check that the electrovalve is magnetized. For example, with an Allen key, you can see if there is a magnetic attraction. If the electrovalve is magnetized, then there is a problem inside the electrovalve. Switch off the elevator, close the ball valve, remove pressure by pushing the manual descent button, Remove the coil of the Star Delta starting valve. With a 15 mm wrench, remove the electrovalve. Check that there is no dirt on the sphere and check there is no dirt inside the block. If there is no dirt, Place the sphere back and check the electrovalve. The electrovalve has an inner movement. The spool must move freely inside the electrovalve. If we push on the top button, the spool must move. You have to verify that the spool is moving up and down freely. If it does, the electrovalve is OK. If the spool cannot move, then you have to replace the electrovalve because it is not pushing the sphere and not allowing the oil to flow. If everything is OK, reassemble the electrovalve back. With a screwdriver, verify that the spool is free to move. Reassemble the coil, open the ball valve, switch on the elevator, 
make a travel in up direction and verify that oil is not coming out from this hose. If the previous repair sequences R1, 2 and 3A were not effective, you can try to unscrew regulation number 7 by one turn. Screw number 7 is the regulation for starting in up direction. If it is too close, it can reduce the speed in up direction or it can prevent the elevator to start. Unscrew the regulation number 7 by one turn and perform a travel in up direction. If even this action will not have an effect, it might be that there is a problem in the spool of screw number 8. Repair sequence R4A Spool of screw number 8 Close the ball valve Remove the handle of the ball valve By doing so, an accidental opening of the ball valve is prevented. Push the manual lowering button and check if the pressure is completely zero. If there is a residual pressure, push manually the AB electro valve. The pressure will go then to zero. Switch off the elevator. Use an X key with the spherical ends. Remove the first two screws as shown in the video. Remove the other two screws. Please do exactly like in the video. If oil is pouring out at this point, it is normal. Now remove the ball valve and lean it on the side of the tank. Remove the fixing bracket of the distributor block. When the last screw is removed, the inner spring is pushing, so pay attention. There are springs and o-rings which could fall inside the tank. Remove the plate. Remove the spring of the screw number 8. Check the movement of the spool inside. This spool must move freely inside and outside. If the spool is blocked, it means that some dirt has entered inside and has blocked the spool. In this case, the distributor block must be replaced. Check also the input filter for up direction. Remove all the pieces inside and take note of the order. Check all the parts until you reach the fine grain net. This must be completely clean. If it is dirty, replace this filter. If it is clean, reassemble everything. First, the fine filter. The coarse filter. The first o-ring. The small disc with the hole, the second o-ring, 
put the spring back inside check that all gaskets are correctly positioned so they are not cut during the reassembly check that uh, there is no dirt uh, on the plate put the screw number 8 inside uh, the spring by proceeding exactly like in the video push the plate back in position and they use the middle screw to fix it pay attention to all gaskets Place back the fixing bracket and the two screws. Now remove the middle screw you have positioned earlier and put it in its place. Place the ball valve back and do exactly like in the video. Lock before the upper screw and then the lower screw. Assemble the two last screws. Block every screw and reassemble back the handle of the ball valve. Slowly open the ball valve until you see that the manometer is back in pressure. Check that there are no leakages and in case you see leakages, repeat the operations. One or more O-rings could be crushed. If everything is okay, switch on the elevator and make a test in travel in up direction.